Hey everyone, welcome back to Plant Growth. My name is McGuire, and today we're going to have a great video about Monstera Care, how to grow your Monsteras, big, huge, lush like this. So stay tuned, and let's get right into it. So I'm sure you all want to know how to get your Monstera as big as this. Um, it doesn't happen within a week. Uh, I wish it did, but it doesn't. So I'm going to give you a few steps, tips on how to get your Monstera this big, how to get the leaves this huge, how to get so many fenestrations within here, and everything like that. If you want to stay tuned, I hope you guys do. Please subscribe, like, comment, and make sure to turn on that bell notification so that you're alerted next time I upload a video like this, um, if you guys do enjoy. So I appreciate you guys doing that. But the first thing that we do to get this Monstera big is basically give it the right light. We need light for Monsteras to get big. Any of our plants, we need a lot of direct light, even though people say don't give your plant direct light. I do. Um, as you can see, it's not really burned or anything like that. So it doesn't hurt the plant if you do give it direct light. Um, but if you do, make sure that you only do it for part of the day because otherwise your plant may burn it may die, who knows, but I'm not gonna chance it. But light basically gives your plant nutrients. If you've ever heard of photosynthesis, that's what happens with the plant. It photosynthesizes, and it's basically eating the sunlight, turning it into nutrients, making food for itself, and that's how they get bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's why I give my plant as much light as I can so that the leaves can get huge and the plant can grow fast. So that's the first step on how to get your leaves big and how your plant can grow at its most potential and fastest way. The second way um, that I've learned is basically putting the aerial roots in the pot as like this. I don't know if you can see this, but all the aerial roots that I have, I lead directly into the dirt. Like this one right here, I've already made that one start going down like that because then it'll grow in there. It'll grow a huge root ball inside the pot and that basically gives the plant more energy, more leverage, and gives the plant, like, basically, it's like a ship. It starts it from the base and goes up into the plant, making it have a lot of potential for a lot of leaf growth. And that's, like, the biggest thing for me, and that's why people don't ever put their roots into the pot, and they let them grow, and then they get, like, 20 feet all over their house. First off, I don't want that. It's a pain in the butt, and I'm not really a fan of it. I don't like the look of it either. So I put it in the pot, grows roots, and that's how basically the plant will get huge leaves. The light and the roots in the pot like this, that's what basically will give your plant the biggest leaves possible. And that, like to me, is the biggest key for getting monsteras this big. You want to keep your roots in the pot. Don't let them go out. The third step to me is soil composition. So on this, what I do is perlite with miracle Grow. I know a lot of people say that miracle Grow isn't good and that you're only probably six months of nutrients with the soil, which I don't really believe because I've had this, this plant potted up for about eight or nine months now in the same pot and it's still growing good as the first day that I put it in here. But what I do is I do about 70% perlite, 30% soil. Um, you want good chunky mix for your aeroids, especially monsteras, so that they have something to grab onto. and basically gives the plant more energy and is able to latch on, giving it strength to hold the roots on to make the energy go up into the plant as well, basically along with the roots. So like those two kind of correlate with the dirt and the roots. They correlate together, but that's the third way that you're going to want your plant to get like really big is by having good soil. And I know people do different types of soil. They put bark in theirs, they put uh, moss, sometimes they put moss, and like other like stones and stuff like that, which is good. But I just try to go as simple as possible and it's worked out for me. Um, if you guys wanna try it, try it out. Perlite really will actually like keep it airy, uh, keep it so it doesn't root rot first off. But yeah, that's the third way um, that I think that it really helps to get your plants this big. The fourth way that I think is putting a pole in your pot with your plant gives it potential to grow up and that's how they grow in the nat, uh, in the nature, in the nat, they grow in the nature, they grow up trees, uh, vines, just really anything that they can find to grab onto, they'll grow up and uh, they do that for a reason because 
as you can see, there's holes in the plants too. And it's the same reason is because they want to reach the sun. So the, the, the higher that they grow up that they can on a pole, the better because it gives it more leverage to go up to the light. And that's why they put holes in their leaves so the bottom leaves can get more sun. So they've kind of adapted over the years to let sun hit the bottom leaves of the plants so that they can photosynthesize way down yonder with the smaller leaves. So that's probably the fourth way that I would say that I got my Monstera this big within probably it was eight or nine months just over the summer. Obviously, you don't have to do anything that I'm saying, but if you want your Monstera this big, that's one way to definitely do it. So that's the fourth tip. The fifth tip, um, and I know it's not best for everywhere, not everyone can do this, but put your Monstera outside in the summer. Um, obviously, outside is as natural as you're gonna get. Um, you can't really get much more natural than putting it in nature itself. So especially here in the Midwest, we have pretty good humidity. Like in the summer, it's around 65, 75, even 90% on some days um, that it does get really hot and humid. But I think that putting it out in nature is the best. Um, it hardens the leaves the most. I don't know if you guys know what hardening is, but when your plant, when your leaf comes out, it's soft. Like you know how it is like soft and you can rip it on accident when you're helping your leaf out. But it helps harden the leaves. They get they get this like, I don't know if you can see, but like this part goes up like this on this leaf and that's what hardening is. So it makes your leaf hard so that it won't rip or tear and that it can just be more resilient to outside things like wind and temperature like that because it gets thicker as well. But I think putting it outside is probably the best way. It has humidity, light, um, it rains outside. So it gets a lot of the main keys that a plant really needs. So. That's definitely the fifth way that I think getting your Monstera this big, especially that quick, because it was literally, I'll put a picture up right here of what it looked like before. And now this is after, obviously, because I have it in here doing this video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you try this out. If you want your plant to get huge like this, I suggest doing it. Um, it will get big quick. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know in the comments if you have done this already. But if you guys do, please let me know. And I'm excited to see them. Thanks, guys.